In this video, we're going to take a look at what templates are in Django. Basically, templates are HTML files that describe the way that a website is supposed to look. And the best way to get a good understanding of what they are is to look at a very simple example. Since we're going to be adding the templates within the example app that we created in the last video, we need to make sure that this app is installed within the settings.py file. So let's go to the settings.py file and in there you'll see an array called installed apps. Since our app is called example underscore app, all we need to do is add it within the installed apps array. Once that's done, we're going to go to the example app, right click and click on new directory. We're going to call this directory templates. And now within this new directory, we can go ahead and right click, click on new file, and we're going to create the first template. So we're simply going to call it first underscore template dot HTML and confirm. Now within this new HTML file that we just created, I'm going to add some very simple HTML code. All it's going to have is a pair of H1 tags that says my first template. So we have created this very first template, but there are still a couple of things that we need to do to show this template within the browser. That being said, you might remember from the last video that the views.py file is responsible for handling requests and responses. And within this file, let's go ahead and delete this one import statement. And from the return statement below, we're going to get rid of the HTTP response that we used in the last video. So we're going to replace this with a new import. Specifically, we're going to write from dot import templates. And the dot simply means from the current directory. And then in addition to that, we're going to pass in the request and the first template HTML into the render function and return that. The final thing that we need to check is that we have the right root configured in the urls.py file. So in the urls.py file, you can already see that we're importing views from the example app because we used that last time. And we're also calling the index function from the views file down here. But you'll see that currently we have it configured to home. So we have to navigate to localhost home to open this website. Now let's simplify that and simply get rid of home and leave this blank. Now we can run this project locally by writing python manage.py run server within the terminal and executing it. After we navigate to this blue link over here, you'll see that in the browser window, it displays my first template. So we have created a simple example of a template, which is completely static. And what I mean by static is that it always shows the same content. There's no way to adjust it, but this is pretty impractical because usually you might want to adjust the content of the page dynamically. For example, you might want to display a welcome message to a user that has just logged in, or you might want to show the products that you're selling that are fetched from a database. So to make our websites more dynamic, we need to use something we call variables and tags. And to use these variables and tags, we first off need to specify where the information for them is going to come from. So I'm going to go to the views.py file and I'm going to create a dictionary called context. And within that, there's going to be a header that says hello Django and a Boolean value for user authenticated. We're simply going to set it to true. And I'm going to add this context dictionary as an argument to the render function. Now we're all set to introduce our very first variable. So let's go to the first template.html file we created. And in there, we're going to replace my first template by a variable. So within two pairs of curly brackets, we're going to specify the first variable, which was called header, which we added in the context just a moment ago. And now when I refresh the browser, you can see that it says, hello, Django. So it's basically displaying the string that I saved within the context dictionary under the key called header. And another cool thing that you can do is you can add something called a filter. Filters allow you to make some specific changes to the variables. For example, if I add the title filter and refresh the browser, you can see that the first letter of every word has been capitalized. I'll leave a link to my website down below where I go into more detail on this. So we've had a look at a variable and a filter. Let's take a look at what a tag is. Let's say that we only want to display hello Django if the user is logged in. Let's envelope the header with an if tag. The top tag is going to say if user authenticated. And after the header, we're going to add the closing tag and if. If I refresh the browser, you can see that nothing changes. And that is because we set the user authenticator variable to true. But now if I go ahead and change it to false and refresh the browser, you can see that the hello Django is gone. And this result comes about because we've used an if tag. We're going to leave it here for this video. See you in the next one.